So after creating our first repository, which we named First Project, we had all this show up. And one important thing that you should pay attention to is the very first block that is highlighted blue, the quick setup, if you've done this kind of thing before. Or then, so we have HTTPS and SSH. These are key and these are going to be like the HTTPS is going to be the URL that we will use to import this repository into the spec editor that we will be using to write our code in. So let it keep uh, HTTPS, let HTTPS keep um, like the one that is highlighted. And then here, if you are to see right there, there is a, a link. I mean, on the phone, it's so hard to see, but if you were using a laptop, you would be able to see the entire link, but it's also okay. So what we do is we need to copy this link and the way to copy it is you will click on this icon that is on the left of the link. So when I click on this there, here, that means this link has been copied. That's the same as control C. So I've copied that link. So I have the link and after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to my spec editor and what I want us to look at is next to the plus sign there is an icon that is kind of like a fork if I could say like a fork icon and that is an icon to show github yes so when we click on that there is clone repo I hope this all now makes sense we said clone repo is making a copy of the repository so when i click on clone repo here it prompts me to input a url and i will input the url that i copied so if i paste in that and i say okay it fetches all that is in there and now i have first project here so once i have first project with me here that means i can now start the process of creating a new HTML. So I'm going to create a new HTML and I'll call it index.html. And there is, so I have created a new uh, HTML. I'm not going to edit anything. So uh, we have uh, this HTML, the way it is, it has a head and a body. And I'm going to just, um, maybe I'll, I said I won't edit anything, but I'm prompted to edit. So I'll just add a p tag in here if this is all not adding up please feel free to ask and you can comment i i might see the comment sometime but feel free to ask um directly in the group so when i have the p tag uh let's say this is it okay so i say done then i run this website it shows my p tag okay so now i need remember these changes are all on my phone right now nothing has been stored remotely on github for me to access that project maybe let's say if i don't have my phone with me but i still want to access the project i can't access it now so what we need to do is navigate here and once you see so if you see up here we have like a tab the first tab then the second one where we have files and then we have this entire pane that is a list if we had like more files would have a list of all our files and then at the very bottom we have source control okay so source control right now shows that we have this index.html and everything that is highlighted right now means that that needs to be added to our github and pushed or everything that like we should be able to commit first add it sorry add it to show that okay we are ready to commit these changes then commit those changes then after committing them push them to github so that they, they are accessible remotely so what we are going to say now is okay so we need to push these changes so when i click on so please note in source control down here there are two forks now the first fork is exactly like the fork we used and we aren't going to pay attention to that now but later on if we ever want to like explore more git we will use this fork now 
we used it only to create to clone our repo we won't use it again now we are going to go to the last fork so this is the fork where we have commit all pull push revert i'm going to explain what this means commit all means that okay i want to commit all so one cool thing about spec editor is it does the ad for you which is cool because most times developers programmers will forget to do the ad and they want to directly go to the commit so the spec editor will add for you commit means i want to commit these changes i want to commit that these are the changes i'm making so if i click on commit all it will prompt me to input a commit message what is the use of a commit message i want because i'm going to make so many commits i've just added a p tag and i am committing so if I add an image, I will also commit. If I add a link, I will commit. So how do I differentiate those? The best way to differentiate them is adding a commit message. So I will write a very meaningful commit message. I'll say add p tag to index.html. This will also help if anyone ever comes back to your code and they want to see, okay, how did the code flow? It means that I can read these commit messages and I know, okay, it was add p tag, then add image, then add link. Okay, you can add um, your name, the name of the author. If you want, you can add the email. I don't know if this should have much of an effect, so I will add it for the sake of the demonstration. Okay, and now if you notice the change, all these files were green they were highlighted green before but now they are white means that i have committed them however not committing doesn't mean that the files are already in github no it just means that i have kind of like more than saved them in a way that now i just need to do one more thing for them to be on github so if i again click on the last fork there is a push option so this is what i was talking about so we are pushing remotely to the origin and we are pushing from branch master you will for this part you won't be changing this so when you click on ok it will say pushing repo okay so it has showed our uh, credentials have failed i am going to redo this just give me a second origin to master okay so there is an error that credentials are wrong and we need now to configure the credentials because i think i missed a step of how we actually get our github credentials into the application so what would happen is initially like before actually cloning the repository when we clicked on the fork, you go to credentials and there you enter your username, your GitHub username and password and then email. So after doing that, you should be able to access your GitHub. So I'm going to first enter these and then I'll proceed with the video after. Okay, so after inputting your credentials, I think the error should be corrected and we can now do the git the git push so all fingers crossed let's see the last fork push okay all right there we go so successfully pushed and if i am able to navigate to my github now i should be able to see that inside first project i now have an index.html so the good indicator is it shows that there is an html file now and we just updated it 37 seconds ago and if i click on first project i will be able to see that there is an index.html so this is a really nice indicator that our, our all our files are now on github and you can access them from anywhere. I hope this video helped.